Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're hitting atmospheric layers, the solar storm current surge from the May 2024 super event, and a look at why volcanoes may be poised to surge to life here on Earth in the coming years. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Flaring has continued at the incoming active region. We have several large plasma filaments to monitor in the southern coronal hole, which will directly face us tomorrow, and have its solar wind arrive over the weekend. NOAA already suggesting minor solar storms are on the docket. The flaring is all coming from the northern incoming active region. This includes another M-class flare this morning. While there are a couple sunspots peppering the Earth-facing half of our star, most are smaller. The one incoming on the north has both size and peripheral umbras creating complexity potential. It's definitely the only sunspot that can produce significant flares at the moment. Let's go next to a quick look at atmospheric layers. New infographic by NASA to help with terminology. The ionosphere, by the way, is not listed, but it encompasses the mesosphere, thermosphere, and part of the exosphere, electric double layers at each boundary. These are the critical segments of the atmosphere, and by the way, all commercial flights and all life on Earth is found way down in the troposphere. Up next, we're looking at the May 2024 solar storm, where the electric current surge was the largest ever seen in the swarm database. It began flying last sunspot maximum, and so the major surges from that event probably should be the biggest in its lifespan, but even still, we can tell how extreme they were. Lastly, folks, the big geology news. The scientists have demonstrated very convincingly how the melting ice of Earth can awaken volcanoes. Just as heavy ice cover can cause isostatic readjustment of the crust, it can also suppress magma given the compression and solidification of the ground between the fire and the ice. Whether you buy the narrative of why the warming is happening or you simply recognize we're still coming out of an ice age, this means we should expect volcanoes to be more of an issue going forward. Those volcanoes are already expected due to Earth's weakening magnetic field. We are in the middle of a pole shift after all. Goldobservers.com is sponsoring our documentary on this topic. It's coming this fall. Everyone involved is pretty confident in a September completion and release in the following one or two months. It covers the pole shift, the cycles, the disasters that ensue, including the great solar flash and the great tsunamis. By this point, most of you should have most of your preps in order, both physically and psychologically, but every gap needs to be filled, and that includes gold and silver. I prefer to keep it among friends, and goldobservers.com are observers in the family. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.